All right, boys, let's do it. Cut scene three. Entertain me, Gabriel Soros. Unknown. The light was incredibly, incredible intense. A whirlwind of brilliant colors that hurt his eyes. Images flashed through his mind, memories not of his own. Art Anus felt himself being lost in the chaos, as if he was being sucked. But then the lights calmed and a clearer image appeared. End of briefing. Press start to begin cutscene. They are breaking through the temple doors. Wait, why is he a civilian? Get into hiding now. You can do nothing here. Bye -bye. The aura. They are breaking through. the The scrolls are in danger. There isn't time. We have to get out of here. Follow me. Dude, check it out. It's an unknown friend. Why does Cos look like a molten salamander? Look, they just blatantly forgot to fix this goddamn eye. What an unusable mess of a portrait. No, this way. <laughs> Why would he think that? Like, they, they can communicate with their heads, you know. What are you doing? I have to try to save something. You fool, they are coming on me. <laughs> this is a cutscene, alright. So apparently, uh, the last mission, by the way, was made out of Patriot's blood. He was too lazy to make his own installation mission. Close, close. Okay, bye. You, as far as I can tell, there was nothing close about it. It cannot end like this. So much lost to this war. I do not remember a door here. Knock down the door! One, two, three! Keep going! Oh dear. Yeah, that's, what, that's my reaction too. So if there was no door here, then what the fuck were you coming in here to save? What? Ah! Safe. What is this place? It's ancient. A crystal. Greeting, Emissary. It speaks. What are you? I am you. I have been waiting your coming for many centuries. Me. I am but a lowly scholar. Within you is the strength and dedication to face the upcoming trial. Surely you look for someone else. I. Do you say the gods are wrong? The gods have decreed you are the one. It is though through you that the Protoss will be brought to a golden age. Boop, 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 boop. <gasps> Recorder's active. Now I am a non-violent man, and so I give you another chance. Will your tribe turn away from their dark ways and join the conclave of tribes? We will not submit yourselves to the tyranny of your conclave. Your misguided ways are a danger to ire, as has been seen by the cataclysmic storms that have wrecked the plains. But because I am a kind man, I will grant your people life against the will of the conclave. Instead, you and your tribe are banished from Aya forever. No, this is our home. You have no re left. You will have one month to prepare your people for departure on board a Zelnaga freighter. Once out of the system, you may go wherever you wish. Pretty sure it was a dune who did this. You can't. Take her away. Ah, it was the chick. Get her out of here, dude. She's, a uh, Wife of Zeratul or something. Ah, dude. Come with me. Whoa! Ah! 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 Why must they be banished? In time, they will understand with the proper guidance and... The same guidance you had hoped to give them. You disobeyed the will of the Conclave, Adun. Despite your reputation, that is very serious. And what good came of it? Nothing. Without the Kala, their powers will run rampant. And that is too dangerous a power to be left alone. What of the Venateer? My hands are stained with their blood because they too would not follow the Conclave. How many more deaths will there be? I can see that these have been trying times for you, and I feel your burden. It is the price we all pay to bring about a golden age for our people. Some will fight for what must be done. But enough. I do not wish to hear any more of this. Where are you going? The time has come for me to leave Ire. The gods have a mission for me. But what about the tribes? We still need you. 
Conclave will take care of things while I am away. Do not worry. I trust that you will secure Ayer's safety from all threats. He forgot sound effects. Greetings, young one. I did not see you, Templar. What is your name, and why are you here? Dark figure. I have had many names, but to you I am Zeratul of the Dark Templar. I am your executioner. It is a pity that one with such strength must die, but it is fate. One thousand! Why do you wish my death? I have done everything I could to help you people. Ha ha, no. <laughs> I am a servant of a far greater power than one of your pitiful tribes. From birth, you and your brethren were destined to die, as are all those that bear the taint. Do not fear, for you will find endless joy in something. Uh, okay, so that's the fan con, I guess. I did say- Force 3. I did say that, uh... They should be, should have been able to talk with or speak with their minds, but I didn't realize that that was actually supposed to be setting being set before the uh, yeah before any of that shit was going down, like before the Kala had actually been established. I, either way, very weird that they decided to retcon a dune's death. Like they didn't even, our Gabriel Sorrel didn't even do it like the way that a dune banished. I, I think this is in the Brood War manual. Like, I do uh, set them free or something. Like, he sacrificed his own life. Like, you could have just used that scene. Uh, again, if that was public knowledge at the time. Could have just used that scene where he's he quote-unquote sacrificed his life. It could have been that, like, secretly Zeratul slew him. You know? Like, Zeratul used the opportunity. But, uh, whatever, man. This is just gay. Moving on. <laughs>